Namami Dam 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 Dam
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.
so much hari katha making chapatis like friends laughing joking he used to very joking person all the just like no false ego that i'm so learned i'm guru and he also you can know that for oh, you must have job with your senior is senior teacher not is a very grave and controlling anyone Never, never control. By out of love. So I always 
want to follow them. What I am telling, not of any word, not mine, but their words, their realization, their preaching. So, I request you to go very deep in his preaching. If you are always busy to take the meaning of his instruction outwardly, externally only, then you will be deceived. No, deceived. And you will be cheated. So try to go in deep and try to understand his. He may tell like other gurus in our Acharya Parampara. So many contradictory things for or so many classes of devotees, grade of devotees, they may tell. But we'll have to what? Reconcile them. Or, not harmonic. Why he is told here this and this? So he may be, he may tell it in different circumstances. Like, oh, there are so many things in Srimad Bhagavad Chaitanya Chaitanya. Also, in Srimad Bhagavad, we can see. Krishna told to gopis, oh, very dark night, very, very dangerous, oh, forest in, and so many beasts are here. And you should at once return back. And after that, Krishna asked me, when I told you to go? There was no dark night, no dangerous animals there, oh, full moon night, but he told that darkness. So I never told you to return back, but we'll have to, why he told that time and why? You should not go from, you should stay here and we will dance and everything depends on the qualification of devotees. This should be <coughs> Now I am coming to my <coughs> class. Oh. In India, after Mahabharat, two bad days came. And once it was in the control of Mohammedan Muslim rulers. And at that time, in Bengal, there was a king, Muslim, Hussein Shah. Once he was making a very high tomb, so many Thousands of workers were in work. So expert machines were working so hard. When it was about to be completed, King himself went there on the high place, very hard. And he saw that, oh, very wonderful that. In India there is no tomb like this and he was appreciating the masons. But the head mason told that though it is so pitiful and so good, wonderful, but we can do more than this. Then at once King took the hands of that mission and he threw out from there. And he was killed. If they are here and not, 
if in life they can make more better than this. I cannot do that. So he killed him. And he was very angry. And at that time there was a person there, his, one of the personal assistant or anyone. Oh, you should go at once and bring. But what bring? You know. At once he should go. And by fear he ran from there. And thinking of what order he has given, what to bring? But he never thought that what. Then he was in very well. And he left that place, that town. And he went to another town to share things, thinking that what should I do? Then one day he was very worried and he was going through any road and he saw that oh there were two brothers. Very beautiful. They were looking towards him. They saw that he, this man is very worried. So they called that person. There is the two boys, two brothers, were like 16, 17 years. They called this person and told that, Oh, I see you that every day you are here and there only. And you seem very worried. What is your life? They told, Oh, I am the personal assistant, assistant of my O King Bhushan Shabasa. He told me to bring something, but what to bring, he never told. And out of fear, I fled away from there. If he will see me and search me, then he may kill me. So I am so worried. Oh. Can you tell when he gave you this order? Oh, where he was sitting or where he was and what doing. Then they to told all these things. That on the tomb, he there. And there, he killed that nation and he ordered. What to bring? Oh, you should not bring. You should take very expert nations from here two missions and at once go and tell king and they told that oh in this town of oh, very expert two missions are there and he get them and told that you should go and tell king then he became so happy but fearing even and he went to king and told oh king I brought these two expert missions Hearing this, he began to laugh. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, how you know, knew my wish? Oh, I could not. But in that town, there are two brothers, very expert, very learned. Though they are young, is but very expert in all. They know all kinds of language, especially Sanskrit, oh, Urdu, Farsi and all other things. Very extra. Then he told, oh, I wanted this. But at that time I was worried that I told you to bring, but I did not tell you to. what to do, what to bring. Oh, they seem very wonderful and very intelligent. Oh, you should go again and request them that both brothers should come to me and they should go. Can you tell who was who were they? <laughs> Not that. Huh? Amar and Santosh. Santosh, Sanatan Goswami. Amar Sanatan Goswami and Santosh Rup Goswami. Two problems. The officer went there and requested them and a special arrangement he brought them to the king. And he questioned so many questions and they answered to the point. 
at once he was very charmed and he kept them in their kingdom like the very harsh and sharp time. Hmm? Private secretary and prime minister. Rup Sanatan Goswami was prime minister. <coughs> and Rup Goswami, private secretary. <coughs> There were are <coughs> three brothers, and as far as know, I know, one sister, one sister. So, they were working as chief minister and private secretary. So many years they did, but when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taking sannyas from Puri, he returned. After Sanyas, he went to Puri, and from Puri he went to South, and he met with Raya Ramananda. And then he returned to Puri, and again he declared, I am going to Vrindavan. And he was coming. But he was coming at the route oh, by Ganges. He came first to the bank of Ganges from Puri, and from there he was coming. He, when he came to reach to Kanaya oh, eh? Sala, eh? about um, the kingdom of Pushensha. Oh, so many crowd, so much crowd was there with Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Chaitamrit has written. More than lakhs were always all following and they were coming. Always Kirtan, Harikatha, when they reached to Kanaya Lard Sala, the name of that place was Mohammedan, any Mohammedan name. But Sanatan Goswami and Rupa Goswami changed. They made it Kanaya Lard Sala. They met there Radha Kund, Sham Kund, and all these things. Ram Kund. Ram So, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came so much followers, in the night, Rupa and Sanatan, they changed their dresses. And they took dhoti and sword. And very very simple. And they ch came to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Also Anpam and his son Jiva Goswami, very little boy, baby, oh, less than two years. He was in their laps. And they gave this Jiva Goswami in the, in the feet of, lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Mahaprabhu, after that, Sanatan Goswami told to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I am telling very brief. He told that this is the not process to go Vrindavan. This is not the process to go Vrindavan. How to go? Alone. Oh, like a a street beggar, not taking so much money or money and any opulence. You will see Rupsunathan how they came to Vrindavan. Mahaprabhu also. So this is not the way that with thousands and thousands of crowd you are going to Vrindavan. Because so many problems will come. Here also, oh, you are so many, more than 200, so some problems are here. Where to stay, where to host, where to for prasadam, here and there. It may be that some will be very sick and doctors will be needed, so many problems. And for alone, nothing. Nothing in pocket. 
where it will be night, he will stay and he can be one chapati anywhere in the houses of devotees. So, nothing is needed. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told, oh, you are friendly. I am telling you. I am doing mistake. If I am doing like so, or any king may think that I am going to invade his kingdom. Also Sanatana Goswami told that, oh, oh, this is the fact I came to you. Kushan Shabasa defeated at me to go and search who is he and how so many persons are. Does he want to invade me, attack me? So, Sanatan Goswami tells me, better he should go alone. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu decided, oh, I should return to Puri. And from there, again next year, I will go to Bhutan. So he returned back. Was his this journey in vain? His purpose was solved. Parsa. Bhavad Vidha Bhagavata Tirthi Bhuti Anti Tirthani Svanta Stena Pada. What is the meaning? That personalities such as yourself are places of holy pilgrimage. That indeed you purify, Chetikvati Chetani, you purify the holy places by your presence. So the Supreme Personality of Godhead is, is purified in the holy places of pilgrimage because the Supreme Personality of Godhead is situated in your heart. They have no anything, no self-interest. Personally, I have no interest. No self again. Nothing. Even in these old days, you know, how troublesome for me to go and prepare. So Narada Rishi, Sukadeva Goswami, even they don't want any cloth. Nothing. Why they are ruling? Going here and there. Pat Vidha, Bhagavata, Tithi Bhuta, Swain Prabhu, Tithi Purvan, Tithan, Svantas, Tain, Gada. Pure devotees, they have no worldly desire. Except, oh, I want to serve. So, they keep Krishna and control in their heart. Always, Gada Bhrita, what is the meaning of Gada Bhrita? Gadabhrita, you know? With Gada, wow. and sharing whole world. This is one meaning, general meaning. But for pure devotee, oh, they will reject. Word, who speaks very sweet with Bansi. He speaks Radhe Radhe. Oh, cows, Kalindi, hmm? Kalindi, Gange, Jamne, Pishangi, like this. And also Gopis, Radhe, Lalite, Vishake. And they advance at Kakka Dandi. So by Bansi, who is, he speaks so sweet, he is Gadabhrita. So, the pure devotees, high class of devotees, always keeping this Krishna with Radhika and devotees in their hearts. And by this, wherever they go, this place becomes Tirtha. Tirthi Kurvanti Tirthani. Even to Tirth, they make holy place. How? By their lotus dust feet. They have nothing to take anywhere. Only to give what? This pure Bhakti. Swamiji never came for any his 
self-interest, never, not for name and fame, out of what? It. To, to, to serve the order of his Gurudev, to preach this mission. And that is why he attracted oh, lakhs and lakhs of devotees. Oh, in couple of years, you know, in couple of years. He never wanted anything for his own, never. And that is why very soon he preached the mission. So a devotee, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came there, wanted to sprinkle his mercy in the hearts of Rup Sanatha and also Jiva. Then he told to them very secretly, I want that you should give up these jobs. I am going to Vrindavan. I want that you should meet me in Vrindavan. Be straight beggar and come to me. I will come alone there and you should meet me. And then he left. At once, at once one order was sufficient for him. What Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told, they followed very strictly. They wanted to how solve this, that how they can meet in Chaitanya to Mahaprabhu when he is in Vrindavan. Mahaprabhu returned to Puri and next year he has started alone with very dangerous forests where infants, tigers, bears, again dogs, all that. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, no weapon, no gun or pistol or anything. Uh, but of the stall of Prem and Love. All the chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, 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 He, Rama, 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 Rama. Then Krishna, Keshava, Krishna, Keshava. Krishna Kesha Pahimam Ram Rako Ram Rako Ram Rako Pai Rakshama Pahimam What is the meaning of Pahimam? No I am offering myself totally Pahi Pahi I am offering everything. Now I am not mine. I am of yours. This is called Pahi. Like Draupadi. Oh. Prahimam. Pahimam. Send me. I cannot save me myself. Now I have given fully in your road. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, why he is? What is his? Problem that he is calling like this. Why? Oh, separation mode. He has taken training in the school of Vishakha, Raya Ramananda. And now he is feeling separation so much that I myself is Radhika. And so much separation mode for Krishna. Always he was feeling So in forest also. Oh, he saw the forest. Oh, this is Vrindavan. A river. Oh, Kalindi is here. Some mountains. Oh, Giraj Govardhan. Some cows. Oh, this is the cows of Krishna. Cowherd boy. Oh, these are friends of Krishna. And he used to beat bitterly and call Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Tamam Pahina. Tiger Sivan. Slipping the way, if touched by Mahaprabhu feet, they used to. Oh, 
chant Krishna, 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 like this. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Krishna,
but he told that I am sick and he was not sick. What he was doing? Harvard's hearing and death. So many learned scholars of Bhagavatam were there, devotees, and the, he was discussing world. Not anything, no problem, nothing. Always he was thinking in the ocean of love and affection. King himself came to see what he is doing. Then King told, I am going to a war in Odisha to invade Jagannath Puri, so you should come with me. He told flatly, I cannot. I cannot go to uh, attack Jagannath Puri. Never. I don't want to be a minister, your minister, prime minister. You can give this position to anyone. Now I cannot serve you. Then King told that, oh, you are my elder brother. I depend on you. And you are like telling like this. If you are not obeying me, then what do you know? I'm a ruler. I will give you punishment. And then he gave him, he put him in jail and he went away. Sanatan Goswami was very happy. You know, it has been written there. Raja more priti kare emor bandhan. Oh, wife is loving so much me, then it is bondage for me. If father is loving, it is bondage for me. What is the poem and you should explain. Raja more priti kare more bandhan. You know? Oh, you see. Shamarani? Look. Really? Different thing. Very important thing. <coughs> if you want to follow Rupa and Sanatan, you should know this meaning and you can follow. Raja more priti kare emur bandhan. That you need to know. Raja more priti kare emur bandhan means if Raja, king, has so much affection for me, he is giving me so much money, so much post, but it is bondage for me. If wife has so much love for any husband and the husband wants to be a pure devotee, oh, this is bondage for him. Very big obstacle. If he has a child and very, very loving, then this love is like a bondage. He cannot do bhajan. So Sanatan Goswami is telling, anyhow I should do something that he should be angry with me. You know, there was a big body, age was about 100, and he wanted to take sannyas, but his wife was so loving that when he used to take sannyas, she used to make some obstacle. Huh? One day, <coughs> he put fire in his room and took chadar and he was sleeping, posing like sleep. So fire was coming very soon and his wife saw, at once entered the room, Oh, you are sleeping? Oh, so much big fire here. You should give the place and you should go out of here. When she told him, <coughs> he came out of, at once came off, out of house, 
and he told that, oh, you have now told me that go out of house, then I will not never return to house this and go in. And saying this, he left this his wife up was weeping. But he told that you have ordered me. So I am following you. And he went to Kashi and took sannyas from Madhavendra Puri. You know Madhavendra Puri? Yeah. And he was Ballabhacharya. And he took sannyas and next day oh, he left his body. So sometimes of pure devotees who want to serve Krishna totally, so they may cheat others by this thing. So Sanatana Goswami wanted to cheat the king and he wanted to make the king angry and we became angry and then he gave oh, first gave 5,000 golden coins to the jailer. You know jailer? Jailer. And he was not satisfied. Oh, help me because I have given this post to you, Sanatana Goswami told. Then you will have some Sukriti. I will not be here. I will be the Muslim. Darvesh, mendicant, and I will not be in India, I will go to Makkah. So please help me, because he was mom then. So he became happy, but even he was fearing of him. Then more, two, two more thousand of golden. Then some water came from his tongue and mouth. So much money I have never seen in my whole life. I cannot make so much money in my whole life. A king will be will come and be angry and he will take my post. No harm. I can maintain money. So he left Natan Goswami and he with one servant. He was coming to Vrindavan. What became? You know? What became? When he left? So when Sri Sanatan Goswami, he escaped from the prison, he could not go to meet Chaitanya Mahaprabhu by the main roads because he would be caught. So he was going through forest areas, very dangerous places. And he came to one district called Patara. When he came into this district, he was approached by a very a uh, wealthy landlord, powerful landlord there, who offered to, he told him, oh you can stay with me tonight. I will give you some ingredients, you can cook for yourself, you can take prasadam, and in the morning, I will send my men with you, and they will escort you over this very dangerous tract of land, over the hills. So, Sri uh, Sanatana Goswami, hearing this, at first he agreed. And he went, he cooked, took prasadam, and when he went to take bath, he was thinking to himself very deeply. Because he had been the Prime Minister of Nawab Hussein Shah. So he knew politics, he knew the art of diplomacy. So he was thinking to himself, why will this person offer to help me for no reason? He must have some motivation. So. Sri Sanatana Goswami was very intelligent. He returned back to the place where he was staying and there he approached his servant Ishan. And he, he inquired from Ishan, Oh, are you carrying with you any valuable things? Ishan, the servant of Sanatana Goswami told him, Oh yes, my Prabhu, I have seven gold coins. Why did you bring this with you? 
Why are you carrying this wealth? This wealth is like Yamraj himself. Certainly, anyone might kill us for this. So this is a very dangerous thing. Give me the, the co coins right now. So then Ishan, he took those gold coins and he gave them to Sri Sanatan Goswami. Sanatan Goswami immediately went to the landlord and he told him, Here, I want you to take this. I have seven gold coins. I will give you this and as a, for the sake of religious principles, please escort us through this very dangerous tract of land. Then that landlord, by the association of Sanatan Goswami, whose heart was so pure, who was so saturated in Krishna Prem, his influence was so powerful. Not Krishna Prem, but anyhow. Influence. <laughs> his influence, being such a pure devotee, was so powerful that the heart of this landlord melted and he began to confess. He said, Oh, you have saved me from a very sinful act. Tonight, this very night, I was about to kill you and take your money. I have an assistant who is an astrologer. He knows the art of astrology. And he had already informed me that two travelers were coming this way and they were carrying with them eight gold coins. Not seven. They're carrying with them eight gold coins. So we made a plan to intercept you, give you a place to stay, and in the night we would have killed you and taken your money. But you've been so merciful to me, and you've saved me from this very sinful act. Surely I would have gone directly to hell for this. Sanatan said, Sanatan Goswami said, Oh, you should accept this money and thereby save me from being killed by someone else. Because if I keep this money with me, it is certain that someone else will try to kill me for, for this. So you should take this money. So then, that person, he accepted the money from Sanatan Goswami and he escorted him over that dangerous tract of land. After they passed through that region and the men had gone, then Sanatan Goswami, he called his servant Ishan. He said, oh Ishan, come here. This gold coin, I know that you have with you some balance because Ishan had not been thoroughly honest. He had told Sanatan, oh I have seven gold coins and given him seven but he had kept one secretly. So what was his intention? He was thinking, oh I'll give him seven gold coins and I'll keep one because in the future a very difficult situation may come and buy this gold we can buy anything that we need and solve the problem. I'll use this gold in his service. He, w he ha was not selfish. He thought, I will use this one gold coin in the service of Sanatan Goswami. But Sanatan Goswami told him, Oh Ishan, this one gold coin, you should keep it with you and you should return to your home. The you are not qualified to be with me. You are depending on money, not on Krishna. So I don't want a person like you. You cannot help me. Or you will make so many problems. If you want to be a pure devotee, you should follow Sanatana Goswami, Rupa Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami. What they did, you should do. And if you are not doing, then actually, oh, no, Krishna Prem is very poor. No, go on. <coughs> so hearing this, Ishan, he was, his heart was broken. He began to cry. Oh, please, don't send me away. I only want to serve you. But Sanatana Goswami was very strong, very strict. He said, no, you keep this coin and you return to your home. Because the devotee is surrendered completely to Krishna. Raksis Shatiti Vishwaswo Gopitte Varanam Tata. The devotee thinks, Krishna is my only maintainer. Krishna is my only protector. And if I take shelter of money, if I take shelter of opulence, if I take shelter of my own intelligence, oh, Krishna is sure to neglect me. I don't want that Krishna will neglect me, so I will neglect all of these things. And Krishna is sure to take care of me. Ananyas chinta yanto mam yehi jana paryupashate te samit nitya vyuktanam yoga shema vyaham So in this way, Sanatana Goswami continued on his journey towards Vrindavan, following the path along the Ganges alone. Then he came to. So as, as he continued, he came to the one 
town, it is called Hajipur. So in Hajipur, there he met with Sri Kanta. Sri Kanta was the husband of the sister of Sanatana Goswami, his brother-in-law. And he was working in government service. He was there and he had 3 lakhs gold coins. 300,000 gold coins. At that time, this is an inconceivable amount of wealth. The king had given him this money to purchase uh, horses for the uh, Muslim government. So he was there buying horses and sending them to the emperor. So when Sanatan Goswami came and met with his very wealthy and uh, very aristocratic, highly positioned brother-in-law, his brother-in-law was very happy to meet with him. He told but him... Sanatan Goswami was more than him. No, you know, but he has left now and he has become like a street. So Sanatan Goswami, he was in a higher position, he was the Prime Minister, but he had left that very high position and became like a street beggar. His brother-in-law told him, Oh, you, are, uh, so you became dirty and you, your cloth is all ruined. We will give you very nice cloth, fine clothing, and you should stay here for some time with me and live like a very aristocratic gentleman. So Natan Goswami said, no, I will not stay here for one second. Not one second. Help me to cross over the Ganges and I will continue on my journey. Why? One minute he will not stay there. Why one minute? Bad association. Even the association of his brother-in-law hmm, was not helpful for him. So, he may request that he should return. So, he, one moment he will not stay there. And he left that place and came to, but he gave something. So, he was leaving that place, but his brother-in-law just gave him one blanket, one woolen blanket. It was very expensive, very costly, and luxurious blanket. Because why he gave? A cold season was there for India, or oh, highest cold. So he gave to shape him, and he took it and he went to. After what he came, he heard when he came to Varanasi. On the bank of Ganges, very sacred place. He heard that, oh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has reached here. And he is returning from Vrindavan. And lakhs and lakhs <coughs> devotees are hearing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he has defeated Prakashananda. And he has cut this, all arguments of Maya about philosophy. And then he was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was so prominent, oh, and lakhs and lakhs devotees were coming to see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He was in the house of Chandrasekhar. He came there searching and he was on the door of Chandrasekhar. Now, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked him, what he asked and after that, you should Oh, oh so have this place now. <laughs> Now Indri is so angry. Oh. They can tolerate it. Tol because all will be liberated and they will go to Guruk Vrindavan. Jalakar is here. Oh, he has requested that Jal should come. Then Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he inquired from Chandrasekhar and asked him, go and see if somebody has come at his doorstep to meet him. A devotee has come. A devotee has come. Then Chandrasekhar, when he came out, he saw there was no devotee waiting outside. So he came and 
replied to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saying, I didn't see any devotees sta standing outside to meet you. Then Mahaprabhu again said, Did you see anyone there? And when this time Chandrasekhar, he came out, he saw one person who was so dirty and shabby, so much beard, and was looking like a uh, Muslim person. So then Chandrasekhar told this man to come in and Mahaprabhu is calling him. When this person, who is actually Sanatan Goswami, came in and when Mahaprabhu saw him, he quickly ran to embrace him. But what happened? Sanatan Goswami was pushing, coming back. He did not want it that Mahaprabhu should touch him. But Mahaprabhu wanted to embrace him because Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu said that by touching yourself, a pure devotee, one can completely become pure. And touching you only to be pure. Then, after some time, Mahaprabhu ordered Chandrasekhar to give nice clothes and uh, give some help to Sanatana Goswami so that he can shave up and dress up like a, like a devotee. Then, after shaving up and taking one when Chandrasekhar was offering him a new piece of new piece of cloth, Sanatana Goswami did not accept it that. And instead he asked for an old dhoti, an old piece of cloth which is used by Chandrasekhar. And when Chandrasekhar gave that one dhoti, Sanatana Goswami tore it into three pieces. And he made two pieces, outer sannyasi clothes, the upper and the lower. And then he made one pooping out of that piece of cloth. And then in that state he came and came in front of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And when Mahaprabhu saw this dress of Sri Sanatana Goswami, he was very happy and he was very pleased that how nicely Sanatana Goswami was following the principles of Sanyas Ashram. But there was one thing, what Sanatana Goswami was having this valuable blanket given to him by his uh, brother-in-law. And Mahaprabhu sometimes while in the conversation or after a little while he would look at that blanket and in the meantime they also went to Tapan Mishra's house and Mahaprabhu was invited for prasadam and Ma Mahaprabhu took Sri Sanatana Goswami with him to take Mahaprasad. When Mahaprabhu told Tapan Mishra to also give lunch prasad to Sanatana Goswami, then Sanatana Goswami, uh, Tapan Mishra said, no, he has some duties, so please you take first and after you have taken, then Sanatana Goswami will honor Mahaprasad. So after Mahapr Mahaprabhu has taken prasadam and he was resting, Tapan Mishra gave remnants of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to Sanatan Goswami. Then when Sanatan Goswami noticed that Mahaprabhu was noticing this blanket, this valuable blanket again and again, then he understood that Mahaprabhu is not pleased with this. So Sri Sanatan Goswami, he went to the Ganges and at the bank there was one poor man and he had washed his old torn quill and he had spread it for drying. Then Sanatana Goswami, he went to this person and asked that if he could trade his valuable blanket for that quilt. And when this person heard these words from Sanatana Goswami, he was kind of surprised and he said, you are a nice gentleman, why you are joking with me? And you are such a sane person, why any sane person would trade this old torn quilt for a valuable blanket? He could not understand, so he was thinking that Sanatana Goswami is joking with him. But when Sanatana Goswami seriously spoke to him, that no, I want you to trade it. And then he gave his valuable blanket to that, uh, that poor person and took his torn quilt. And wearing that quilt around, he, when he came to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became so much happy, overly happy to see that how Sanatana Goswami was following the strict uh, principles of Sanyasa Ashram. He was really pleased that by the mercy of Krishna, Sanatan Goswami has given up all the attraction for all the material sense objects. He was not at all having any attachment and just this last thing, last piece of blanket was holding and now he had given up that also completely. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was very happy to see Sanatan Goswami in that state completely depending on Krishna and not having any attraction or attachment to anything mundane. Then 
Sri Snathan Goswami, he humbly inquired from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You know. Thank you. Oh, this is the process. This, what is the purpose of this story of? <coughs> From beginning of his life, the devotees should follow him. How he left his all, everything, position, wealth and money. Even a servant with one coin, he left. Even that blanket, now nothing. He took only old dhoti and make it for, oh, for this and for this, and door copy, nothing left. There was no money, nothing left with him. If any person wants to go to any high class of devotee, to be a devotee, he should be like Sanatana. He should not come with so much wealth in his pocket or with bank balance. He can afford. Never he can afford. Like a street beggar. I can tell you the history or life history of your Prabhupada, my friend Slavati Vedan Swami Maharaj. He told himself this story. I think he has never told to others, but I have told to you. Oh. When he took initiation from Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur, he was telling to me this secret thing. Oh, I took initiation, I then began to read Srimad Bhagavatam, to chant and remember also, looking after my job, that uh, Bengal chemical, he was manager at that time. Not only manager, he was sole proprietor like. So, but he was hearing that, oh, if anyone chant and remember and follow Krishna, then he will, Krishna will make him a street beggar. So, what to do? I was thinking and thinking, very, I was in problem. <coughs> Always worry for this. But I never stop to chant and to hear and to read Srimad Bhagavatam. I went on, hmm? strictly following my Guru order. After some time, oh, Bengal chemical, Wolfeld or he was, huh? he left anyhow, he was bound to left. Then he came to Allahabad and he uh, again he started one medical not so. Factory. In big way. But is after two years it fell down. Then he started a saw, very prominent, where Indian Prime Ministers used to come. But after two months, one, two years, it also fell. Then he began to be a a representative he used to take something, making himself some medicine. He used to make new, new medicines. And he used to go here and there. But also he could not do. And penniless being, he came to me and he was telling that, now I am penniless, nothing left with me. So Krishna makes it to whom he loves. So Sanatan Goswami, the purpose of this Sanatan Goswami is this. If you want to really to be a very pure devotee, high class of devotee, you will have to follow him like empty pocket, nothing with him. Then Krishna may give you. Otherwise, no. Otherwise you will have to return back from pure devotion. So you should try to follow Sanatan Goswami. If you want to have high class of precious prema bhakti, shogri bhakti. We know that all those who have practiced bhakti yoga, oh, they have followed this. Guru, Sanatan, Raghunath, also 
the one son of king Narottam Thakur, Shyamanan, Palde Vidya Bhushan, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, he was also high, he had a very high class of position also. He left everything, you know, Srila Prabhupada. Because Swamiji was very high class of, his father was very rich person. No, not rich. Or Guru Maharaj was also like a prince. Also the father of Srila Bhakti Vedan, Swami Maharaj. Oh, very rich person, very rich person. But he left everything for Krishna. Krishna Prem is more valuable. With all affluence you can attain Krishna. You will have to be one day a straight way. And when you will be like this, oh Krishna can give you so much affluence like Yudhisthin Maharaj, like Prahlad Maharaj, like others, like Nanda Maharaj, oh then you can have Yes, like so much. Or oh, Swami Maharaj also, oh, so much affluence, lakhs and lakhs, daughters and sons, and so many centers, so many cows here, there. You cannot believe, anyone cannot believe this. So, <coughs> you should try to follow this land. But not very easy. Not very easy. But you will have to follow. Today, oh, Gaur Pranananda. I think many devotees have a question about what you just said. That when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was there, you could follow him around by foot. But in this day and age, when the sun takes planes across oceans, and when he gives up all of his money, how can you follow that sun when he comes out of Oh, Krishna will make any arrangement. You should be dependent on Krishna. If you are not uh, uh, following six principles of Sharanagati, then how can you believe in God? First Sharanagati should come. This is the doorway of Krishna. Krishna should manage. Why we should be very positive? Go Pramana. Hare Krishna. This song by Srila Narottam Das Thakur has a very deep meaning. It appears that the song is going backwards. That is, we know we're supposed to go up the disciplic succession from Diksha Guru, Shiksha Guru, Vaishnavas, Gornatai, then Radha Krishna. But here it seems to be going down. First, Srila Narottam Das Thakur is praying to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that you are the most merciful in all the three worlds. As Sri Narahari sang also, without Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's having come here to this world, what would have been the use of this body? We wouldn't have been able to live in this world. Who would have known about the height, the essence of Radha's praying? Who would have known how to enter into the love of the clever gopis and become their servants? But then he says, now you are the most merciful, but you'll find no one more qualified for your mercy than I am, because you're Patita Pavana, the deliverer of the most fallen, and you'll never find one more fallen than I. So I'm the most qualified. Then we're not actually going backwards, because Srila Narottam Das Thakur realized that even though Mahaprabhu is the most merciful to the most fallen, and even though I am the most fallen, and even though Srila Narottam Das Thakur is having the quality of the devotee, that I am Adama, 
I'm the lowest. But that's not an excuse not to pray for mercy, but rather I'm asking you to make me Uttama, the highest. From the lowest, I want to be the highest. And this uh, mood is taught by all of our Acharyas. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami prays to Govardhan. Without considering that I have no qualifications, please give me a residence near you. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur prays to Gopinath. That is it your way that just because someone is adverse to you and hardly ever chants your name, you have no mercy for them? So this is the mood of our Acharyas, that real humility is to know I am the lowest, but I'm asking for that highest thing. So then Srila Narottam Das Thakur is realizing, even though that's true, still I cannot achieve Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy without the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu. Nityananda Prabhu promises that anyone who follows this process of doing prartana prayers in the line of our acharyas in the mood of humility and weeping and thinking I'm the most wretched and surrendered to his own Gurudev, then Nityananda Prabhu promises that I will personally take charge of that person. And if Mahaprabhu does not accept them, I'll personally make sure that he accepts them. Then Srila Narottam Das Thakur realizes, but how can I get the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu without the mercy of Advaita Acharya, who himself called for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu to come? Then he realizes, how can I get his mercy without the mercy of his servants, the six Goswamis? And how can I get their mercy without the mercy of um, Loganath Goswami? He's the spiritual master of Srila Narottam Das Thakur. And how can I get his mercy without the mercy of his servants, who are my God brothers, and who are purely serving him? So in this way, this song is perfectly going up the line of disciplic succession to get the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is the most merciful because he came to give what no other incarnation or no other Acharya ever gave before, that is, before he came, in the previous day of Brahma, so many trillions of years ago, the divine service of Srimati Radhika. Thank you. When we are chanting, what should we think and what should we think? Oh, this is the good subject here. When chanting, Hare name, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu, Gaya Karamo, oh, no. and Varsito, lamenting. I am washed, no qualification. I am offender. All unwanted thing in me. Oh Nityananda Prabhu, be merciful to me. Oh Advaita Acharya, you have brought Chaitanya Radha and Krishna in this. You have brought Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the shape of Mahaprabhu, but they are Radha and Krishna. Oh please be merciful. A drop of your mercy. Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna. It may be that dear will come. Your heart will be made. If you are praying from your heart. Oh, but the mercy of Advaita Chai, Mahaprabhu, and Nityananda, we cannot achieve by without mercy of Sada Goswami, especially Rupa Goswami. Oh, Rupa Goswami, be merciful. You are Jagat Guru. Oh, you are the heart of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You are the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You are everything. Sasarupe, Daita Sarupe, like this. So be merciful to me. Otherwise, I may die. But he is praying to his Gurudev now. Oh, if you are not merciful to me, then oh, anyone will not be merciful to me. 
इवन सड़ गुरु स्वामी तो गुरुदेव भी मस्त always Om Hari Katha Hari Katha. Nothing else. So you can. Oh. Any song of Bhakti Vinod no Thakur, Nautam Thakur, Prema Nanda, Govinda, you can sing and chant it, and you can do it. They will give transcendental power. These are the process. Weeping and chanting. But we have so many desires. Oh. Very hard. Our hearts have been more hard than iron and stone. <laughs> But if you are doing in this process, then everything is okay. These are the process. Any song you can. You know, Rupa Goswami has written Namastakam. Nikhil Suti Mauli Rat Mala. दो तीन राज के पास पंक जान अयुक्त कुलई रूपाश्रय मानव परितस्तां भयाम पढ़ित मिनी पढ़ित मिनी नमिन माधव महाराज जी पढ़ित निखिल सुति मौलि रत्नमाला कौन रिपी हरिक चलो लोगों से एक्सप्लेन मिनी The, the praying the lotus feet of Nam Prabhu, that Nikhil Suti Mauli Ratnamala, that all Vedas and Upanishad, they are praying and doing aruti of Nam Prabhu, Dukti Nidhani the father of Kankajanta, by them they are doing aruti of his lotus feet of Nam Prabhu. And who is that Nam Prabhu? Mukta Kulai Pasamanam, he is always served by liberated soul. So I bow down myself, the lotus feet of Nam Prabhu, who is always served by liberated soul, and all Upanishad and Vedas doing aruti of that Nam Prabhu. I want to take surrender. I want to surrender myself, the lotus feet of Nam Prabhu. Very good. More clear. Nikala Shuti Mali Ratnamala here. Shri Rupa Goswami Bhai is saying that. Oh, knowledge is in the Veda, but the crest jewels on the head of all the Vedas, these are the Upanishads. In Upanishad, most excellent transcendental knowledge has been given. But what are the Upanishads doing? They are taking Panch Pradip, uh, uh, Giwix, five in a lamp, and they are offering Arti, oh, not directly to Harinam, to the rays of Effulgence coming out from the tips of the toenails of Harinam. So Shri Rupa Goswami is saying, "Oh Harinam, you are glorified by all the dynasties of liberated sages. So I take complete shelter of your lotus feet." Rupa Goswami is telling, "The Dada is doing arti. What is the meaning?" Only the rays of the Hari Nam. Who is Hari Nam? Himself, Krishna. Non-different. But more. So all Vedas are a glorifying name, but very far away. They cannot taste all the rasas which is in name. So I pray that only liberated person, very high class of person, not only liberated, though has followed the process of Raganuga Bhakti, knowing what is praying, 
स्नेह मान प्रणय राग अनुराग भाव महाभाव स्पेशली द महाभाव अपराधिका दो जो रियलाइज दे कैन ग्लोरीफाई एंड दे कैन चांद प्योर नेम अदरवाइज नॉट अवर नेम ऑलवेज फुल ऑफ ऑफेंसेज एंड मोर नॉट सो मच ऑफेंस बट इवन इट मे बी आभास semblance of name what is that for for this and those who are in the association of high class of raga nuga vaishnava knowing all these things who is krishna who is rash rash krishna who is shrimati radhika what is prem tatva and what is rash tatva Knowing all these things, oh, they can touch the glory of now. And when they will chant Hare Krishna, Evang Pratastha Priya Nam Krishna Jatan Rag, all they are full of high class of ecstasies, rush, and ashtu shakti mood will come. So they they can chant. of pure name because it has been told nama chintamani chaitanya arasa vigraha what is meaning of arasa vigraha name is a vigraha of full of rush full of rush ocean of endless ocean of rush but we don't realize anything that is i i move to kalari vipassana valli Oh, liberated person having prem, sneh, man, pranam, they know what they can chant. They will see Mahaprabhu, Nay Nangaladash, Jugai Tang Nimishine Chakshu Saprabhu. This is pure. More than that, what? Eighth slow, eighth slow, of very high. Even Shrimad Bhagwat has not told like this. He has covered, but Chaitanya Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has opened it. But who will realize? This is our goal of the life. If we had had touched anything of these, a little bit of taste has come. We cannot decay. We cannot come to what is life. Never. If or oh, quickly they will be up. Right? Then second name. Jai Nama Dheya Muni Brinda Gaya Janaran Janaya Parma Sarad Kamana Dara Tapi Nikalo Prata Patalim Bilo. Eight and little bit of this. Even Nama Bhas. Jai Nama Dheya. मुनि वृंद गए वो मुनि सुखदेव गोस्वामी और नारद गोस्वामी सुखदेव गोस्वामी रूप गोस्वामी सनातन गोस्वामी महापुरुष और शंकर लाइक दिस ऑलवेज महादेव शंकर हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण ब्रह्मा फॉर फोर माउथ इवन शंकर सन विथ इज थाउजेंड एंड थाउजेंड ऑफ माउथ A thousand and thousand of ton mm. chanting and remembering with the thousand and thousand of minds. But he cannot tell everything. He wants more and more ton, heart, mind, more and more, unlimited. The day now. Here, what is the name there? Oh, you are himself Krishna. Krishna has invested all his power, mercy, everything, and he has made name more powerful, more merciful than himself. He understand? Krishna is not merciful so much. 
because they combine mercy of Radha and all is in them. Nam Namakari Bhutani. But we are so unfortunate. We have no taste in this. Jai Nam Dei Muni Vrindavi. Janaranjanaya Paramaksharadu. Oh, Bali to be merciful and to sprinkle mercy. Oh, he has came in the shape of name. Name are of two kinds. Shabda Brahma and Shabda Samanya. What is Shabda Brahma? Transcendental name himself, Krishna and Radhika. And what is Shabda Samanya? Only word. Having no power. He has heard from anywhere. Bogus Guru from Bogus Guru. Who is not realized. Who is not chanting. Oh, he has made up his mind that I should not chant more than sixty. Never, never. It will be offense if I am chanting. These bogus gurus. So, if anyone is having all these names from them, or hearing any word, or reading Srimad Bhagavad anywhere, and they are chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. No need of Guru at all. No need of Diksha. No Siksha. Oh, why name is himself Krishna? They are bogus person. Offenders. We should try to be far away from them. Namadhe muni brindagaya janaranjanaya par. So, to be merciful, you have come, descended in the form of Akshar. What is Akshar? Syllable. If anyone he chants but no honor, even no harm, or beginner seat instead. Without honor, without knowing the glory, and he utters this name, what becomes? All kinds of difficulties, sorrow, suffering, birth, faith, pain, everything. Even, even all kinds of honors and everything will go away. We should hear patiently all this and try to realize these facts. <coughs> After that, Jatanama Bhasho Ki Uddhan Kavadita Bhavadhvanta Vibhavo Disham Tattam Dhanam Api Disak Bhakti Pranainim Janastascha Uddhatam Bhavan Nama Tarani Kriti And after this, Jat Brahma Shakchat Kriti Nishtha Api Vinasham Mayat Vinan Bhogai Apai Tu Nama Shpurani Natate Prarab E Brahma Gyani He has achieved the Brahma Gyani Or don't sleep Try to close to open your heart and sit like this. Very small. That Brahma Sakshat Kati Nishthe Adi. You have received Brahma Kya. This is Nishtha. But even now you are qualified to have Brahma Kya. That part, I am Brahma. Sarvam Khaludam. And he is about to liberate. But he will have to suffer for his prarabdha karma. What is prarabdha karma? Prarabdha karma? There are so many kinds of karma. Prarabdha, aprarabdha, u, bij, abhidya. Five kinds. Prarabdha karma, what is the meaning of prarabdha karma? You know? Oh, we should all try to know all these things. Because we are in training center. Different stages. We are here, we are in training center for seven days. And you have attended seven days in desert. You should now think that we are in training center. I may examine you. 
And if you are not qualified, I may cut your name. Oh. <laughs> so I will examine and I will promote also. No? I can ask questions to anyone who are here. So you should be alert that Maharaj can ask anything. तब ब्रह्म शक्षात कृति निष्ठे आपी और but yet you will have to test you will have to suffer प्रारब्ध कर्मा प्रारब्ध कर्मा what is meaning सिर्फ उसका स्वामी पाद सिर्जन अप्रारब्धम फलम भावम no no don't कुतम भी जंपलम what I am telling you should believe you otherwise you will take all time प्रारब्ध कर्मा means what is प्रारब्ध कर्मा the प्रारब्ध कर्मा means the reactions of our fruitive activities, which are fructifying in this life, in the form of this body. Already has aspects. been given only for prarabdha But yet there has been no um, endless ocean of our karma, good and bad, are still in his stone. Only the karmas which are or now to be tested or from that our this body has been and if we, when we will test all these things again oh the new comes from that store will come that is a prarab and by faith it comes good heap of all this uh, it comes from ignorance what is good? Krishna Bhuli Ji, you? To forget Krishna. This is our main ignorance. So all will go away. Only by one name if it is manifest. What is the meaning of Krishna? Oh, we cannot take from all. By tongue. Shavan Mokohi Jivadu. If you are surrendered, then it may be that your first your all offense will go. All offenses. And Krishna for a moment, or he can come or turn and he will dance. But very easy. We should wait for this. If one name has come and dancing in our stomach, then or your all kinds of karma, your prarabdha karma, aprarabdha karma easily can go. All, but you will have to test. Even Brahma Jnani has to test. But if anyone join, or even even one name is coming and dancing in your tongue, then you are all good, avidya, everything will go away by one name. Then you should have this faith, strong faith. So don't be weak. Oh, nothing we cannot chant. We will not chant. Or oh, only distribution of books and all other things are. Or oh, don't do it. Try to chant more with your mind. Agadamani Jasoda Ananda Nauranda Sunu Kamala Nayi Gopi Chandra Vinda Pranat Karna Krishna Avityani Kasvarupi Vai Mamari Jodhya You can chant Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare O oh Krishna, you are Agadaman. He Agadaman. What is the meaning? You have control of Hasur. You have skill. Oh, Agasuru is the embodiment of all kinds of offenses. Oh, I am so offensive. Be merciful. Like Agasur, you should take my all offenses. Agataman Jashoda Nandano Nanda Suno Kamala Nain Gopi Chandra Vrindavan Pranta Puruna Krishna Oh Krishna your name all these things they should come with oh full of 
rush. That's what they did with Tarasana Mahi Rasa. Hmm? So the Tarasana Mahi Rasa, Nāti Rasa, Ramma Chita Kandu Sukha Salūpini, Nām Gokul Mahatsavāya Tethruna Pabhuse, O oh Krishna, come in my heart with your full appearance. Hmm? You are the Mahatsav of Gokul. Mahatsav means? Oh. Anyone, if sees you, meets you, remembers you, chants you, oh, oh. Gokul Mahatsav. Gokul Mahasa, oh you should manifest yourself in my heart. Oh big expectation. All Mahabharata, Srimad Bhagavat man come in this. And then Narada, Veena, Jivan, Sudhar, Mindit, Jash, Madhuri, Pura, Kam Krishna, Nama, Kama, Purami, Rasani. Oh, oh you are very fond of Narada. When he takes Veena and Radhika <coughs> Narada Bajai Vina Radhika Ramana Name Narada Muni Bajai Vina Radhika Ramana Name So, oh, this name, with full of rush, saturated with rush, you should manifest yourself in my heart. So, you should make any uh, idleness, be weak, in, weak, or in charge. Always on. Always on. If you have time to sit, it will give more uh, sahayata, help, than you are making money. Money can kill you. <laughs> 